This document just triggered a domino effect, wiping a staggering $5 trillion from the global stock markets over days. Japan's market saw its biggest crash ever. Bond yields have plummeted, commodities on the way down, and crypto saw its biggest collapse since FTX. Where do we go from here? Well, let's dive in. To set the scene, the US stock market has been on a tear despite the high rates, fueled by the generative AI boom. Tech firms such as Nvidia are trading at a whopping 60 plus P multiple. They better keep posting those accelerated earnings or else things are going to get dicey for recent stock buyers. Now all up since 2022, we've seen major stock market concentration around technology, whose share prices have been overheating in a monetary environment that really should have seen them dump. We've got volatile geopolitical issues. We've got an upcoming US election. All up, we've got an overheated market that's been vulnerable to bad news. And that news came in the form of last week's US jobs report for July. Now, the labor market has been softening due to high rates, but analysts still expected US employees to add around 175,000 jobs. Instead, the US economy added just 114,000. Now, what this means is the US economy is softening faster than expected. And the US central bank, the Fed, which kept its fund rate on hold early in the week, might have now just missed their window of opportunity for a soft landing, steering us towards that recession. So markets are now pricing in up to a whopping 1.5% rate cut by the end of the year. Now, that alone would have triggered a stock market sell-off. In fact, historically, when the Fed pivots, the markets tend to do their final dump. But uh, things have worsened dramatically due to some events in Japan. You see, for almost two decades, Japan's central bank has maintained a negative interest rate to try and prop up their stagnant economy. So both Japanese people and foreign investors have been going to Japan, borrowing cheap money, and then investing that money overseas for higher returns, buying assets like US bonds, which has been paying out a risk-free 5% over the past two years, and US tech stocks, which have just been soaring. So these are called carry trades, borrow at a low cost in one currency, invest in another for higher returns. Last week, the Bank of Japan hiked their rates. And with the US Fed now expected to reduce theirs, perhaps quite aggressively, as we can see here from how the bond yields have been dumping, trillions of dollars worth of carry trades are now unraveling. So you've got hedge funds being squeezed out of their positions, getting margin calls on leveraged positions being forced to liquidate assets, which means selling a lot of shares and repaying their loans back in Japan. So the result has been the market carnage that we've been seeing over the past week. So where do we go from here? Well, here's my bull case. This was a liquidation event, and it was largely an overreaction to one data point, in my opinion, the jobs report. Now for crypto, there are potential bullish narratives on the horizon. The biggest of which is the possibility of governments and maybe even central banks hoarding Bitcoin in the future as a strategic reserve, similar to how the US, China, Germany, Russia, and so on decided to hoard gold. If this narrative ends up playing out, it's very bullish because it creates that buy side pressure for Bitcoin and it legitimizes Bitcoin as a store of value. Now, what about the bear case? Well, data shows that we're not done yet unwinding a lot of these carry trades. So there might be some more sell side pressure on equities, which is going to affect crypto. Beyond that, uncertainty looms. We're no longer in a secular bull market with easy monetary policy. As I've written about over and over, I think those good times are over. The yield curve has inverted, indicating a likely recession. It's one of the most reliable recession indicators economists have. And with ongoing geopolitical threats, a US election looming, the pressure on tech stocks to continue performing, a large and prolonged pullback, hey, maybe even a secular bear market, a lost decade if you will, don't count anything out. No financial advice, personally I'm still in the markets, but I think it's a little bit crazy not to have at least some dry powder sitting on the side in this kind of environment. Alright, let's wrap up with some memes. 
If we're bleeding, let's at least have some laughs while wiping the blood off our faces. Drop a like if you enjoyed this short update and let me know how you're playing this dump. Events like this are, well, they're either loved or hated by investors and traders. You'll love it if you have some spare cash to pounce on these liquidation wicks. And hate it if you got caught with your pants down. This time around though, that included both retail investors and the hedge funds. All right, stay safe, keep learning, and always watch your risk. I'll see you guys next time.